1971. We're talking full fro <laughs> in the 70s. Black woman on Playboy, what you know about it? And I'm looking at this right now. I loved um, when I would see a cover to find the bunny. That's an easy one because you see oh, the bunny. Yeah. I think that one's right there. That one's right there. Uh, that one's right. Strategically placed okay, as well. Okay, but look at this one. Oh, my God, that's Donald Trump. That is Donald Trump <laughs> on the cover in uh, 1990. That's playmate Brandy uh, Brandt with him. Now, Hugh's son Cooper said that... Uh, um, he calls this moment a personal embarrassment <laughs> oh. for the magazine. Wait, I'm trying to zoom in and find the bunny on there. I'm okay I was, with not. Uh, you guys remember <laughs> that at home? That they said, oh, it was on his cufflink, that that was kind of the fun thing. Also, people laugh to see when you look at all these that mm -hmm. they talk, oh, you look at it for the articles. I did look at it for the articles. I There were some fantastic <laughs> interviews in there. Yeah. I'm serious. I would look for the bunny. And, and then go to the articles. Yeah. When I was dating my husband, my now husband, then boyfriend, he lived with five guys and they just had a stack of Playboys. I would be fascinated. I was like, wow. Well, Kit, you have a really interesting story about Playboy uh, at school, <laughs> right? This is really quick. I interviewed Hugh Hafner <laughs> back, I think it's when I was working for ESPN, and they, they wrote a great note and sent a big care package. Uh -huh. And so cut to my oldest daughter, my very first, was going off to kindergarten, uh -huh. and last minute I'm in the car, I'm nervous, and <laughs> she says, Mom, I need a blanket or a towel for rest time. Yeah, of course. And she's like, I want to go get the animal one. I'm like, oh, well, go get it and hurry, we're late, we're late. Cut to, I get a call from Sister Margaret at about 9.15 saying <laughs> that Playboy <laughs> paraphernalia is not allowed at the no. school. <laughs> Miss Kit, I know you sent your daughter to school with her little blanket and things, but the Playboy blanket needs to stay at home. I'm just picturing Campbell with her big blue eyes, like, zamp, like throwing out the <laughs> Playboy blanket. And, and like, like <laughs> what up? They were so what nice. What up, nap time? I never got to go to one of the parties at the Playboy Mansion. Have you ever been to never, one of these? But what I do, what I have heard, though, is that they're going to keep the Playboy Mansion, the Playboy Mansion on the outside, and turn the inside into, like, a venue. Oh, they have to. Right? About his because, life. Exactly. And so you'll, be, you'll still be able to have that Playboy experience. You'll still be able to have that. It needs to be gutted. Yes. It needs to be but remodeled. But the grotto, guys, there's this place in the pool called the grotto that the everybody grotto. talks about. I just about. want a selfie in the grotto. Right? I don't even necessarily want to get in the I water. I don't think I want to go in the grotto. In the water, like maybe with a wetsuit on, yes. but like I do want a photo. Just like what up, right? But they talk when you talk about the mansion, because yeah. for everybody right. else, I know when I moved out here, legendary as far as mm -hmm. you would see huge name celebrities at these parties, yeah. hobnobbing, and I guess they went well on into the night. It was like Which it was probably, a fight night. Is, or, this why, is that why we weren't invited? Yeah, we were. We were the <laughs> Is that why we haven't made it? But to see oh, yeah. the pictures and to think about it, and to yeah. think about it, if those walls could talk. <sighs> uh, we showed you Marilyn Monroe featured on the very first cover back in 1953. Interesting, Hef will be laid to rest next to her. Right next to her. He paid $75,000 for this plot back in 1992. You think she's, like, waiting for him? She's like, come on in. Come Slide on, on in. Huh? Come on, baby. Uh, let's look at back some of the covers. We were talking this morning. Interesting to see some of the celebrities that made it. The top ten, Marge, Marge Simpson. Yes. She posed. <laughs> she definitely won a <laughs> Back in 2009. <laughs> There's also been uh, Farrah Fawcett. This is in 1978 during the Charlie's Angels uh, height of that popularity. Four million copies sold. God, she looked gorgeous right there. And that was a Farrah Fawcett right there. In 95. Uh, Bo Derek, right here. That was straight off her 1980s hit. No uh, cornrows. For no cornrows right there. <laughs> now, interesting, Madonna did not pose. What now? It's interesting to me that when we say Madonna did not pose, these are, po these are photos then that half in the magazine just bought. Yes. And a, a lot of people were not happy with that. There was, um, who else posed that didn't want to be? Oh, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. So we saw this. I was like, did she pose? She was not happy about this. These were pictures I could imagine taken not. earlier in her career and then put up there. And then you got Naomi Campbell oh, from 1999. Cindy Crawford, who did, I think, more than one. More Cindy than Crawford. One. She did three covers, right? Yeah, and she sent out a nice tweet today thanking Hef for everything. I love this picture. I think Herb Ritz took that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, took that photograph. And um, her pictures were so beautiful and artsy mm -hmm. and black and white. But, yeah, Denise Richards is another one that posed. It's and, interesting um, to me when you talk to some of the uh, people who've been on the cover.